This is one of the best defenses to use in Madden 23. No! It stops the pass. Gets instant sacks. And it might be the best run defense in the game. Nope. So if you want to see what defense I'm using to get results like this, Got stick around after the intro. The is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a play out of my Kansas City Chiefs defensive ebook as I recently started using this playbook and it has some of the best combinations of nickel and dime packages in the entire game. But before I do, if you guys are enjoying the content, Woo! please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. It really helps out the video and the channel and I really appreciate all the support. And if you guys want to see more money plays from this or any of my ebooks, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pin comment to have them sent to your email for instant download. I start this game out on offense and on the first play, my opponent is using the Sam Will Blitz, which I haven't seen anyone use in a while. So on the next play, I switch over to what is probably my favorite play in the entire game, the Drive H Wheel, from the Stack Y Flex, as this might be the easiest one play touchdown against Cover Zero in the game. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> On defense, I start this game using a cover two man from a new formation, the quarter normal. But this is not the defense that this video is about, as it doesn't work out too good. But my opponent has no problems dissecting it with the best offense in Madden, as my normal adjustments are just failing me in both run and pass defense, as he goes right down the field to answer right back with a score. Damn it! When I get the ball back, I switch over to my new gun Y off trio weak offense that I recently made a video about. But I'll be focusing mostly on defense in this video, so if you guys want to see more, I will have a link in the description as well as an on-screen pop-up at the end of the video, so stick around for that. If you saw that video though, I did mention that the PA wide receiver in was a one play touchdown versus man zero and I didn't get an opportunity to show it in that gameplay until today. For this play to work, all you have to do is put the B route on a curl route and run it from the hash mark to the short side of the field. This adjustment will typically have the two cornerbacks run into one another as the wheel route gets right past the coverage and I get into the red zone on the very next play. He gets me into a third and six before I switch over to my Saints fourth play to easily punch it in and take the lead back. Back on defense, I am still in the quarter normal, but I switch over to the under smoke defense, which I also put out a video in the past. I start having more success than I did on the first drive as I get him into a fourth and 13, but he gets the first and resets the downs before I switch back to the cover two once again, which is getting torched on the ground based off of the lack of size. Then on second and 10, he hits me with a jet sweep from about 30 yards away, and I still don't know how one of these three defenders couldn't force him out of bounds. What the hell was that? Back on offense, I have plenty of time to take the lead back before half as I am now using multiple different offenses to work my way down the field before reading man coverage and getting into field goal range with a simple drag adjustment. Once I get here though, the drive stalls with 22 seconds left so I kick a field goal to take a 3 point lead in a half. I start the second half on defense and since my opponent scored every time he had the ball in the first half, my halftime adjustment is to try a completely different defense that I haven't used yet. So I switch formations entirely to use a new defense out of the Dolly 3-2. This formation is the meta but usually it's the spinner blitz or the DB fire 2. The play that I'm going to use however is the zero blitz which to me is the best overall defense in this entire formation as this version of man defense has a few advantages that those other plays do not. This is the second video that I have made about this defense so if you guys want to see more I once again have a link in the description at the end of the video so stick around for that the only adjustment i have to make is to man align which sometimes will require flipping the play like it does here since the safety covering the slot cornerback is way out of position across the field so i flip the play which fixes the problem only to see my opponent flip the play as well which some people do to try to mess up the man assignments but it doesn't work here as my alignment is still correct there is no other steps to the setup of the base defense but you have several other options to improve either the run defense or pass defense of this play i expect run the next play so i pinch the defensive line to close up the gaps this will help stop the run but it could also make the pass rush less effective after that all i'm going to do is user this linebacker here hover the guard pre-snap before dropping back into coverage and since i have no responsibility i can read and react to whatever i see in front of me one of the biggest advantages of this defense is that I don't have to cover the running back like most man zero blitzes, as he must have read that I was a man zero blitz since he quickly throws the ball out to the running back, not expecting someone to be in coverage. Bring that ass here, boy. He calls hurry up on the next play, and I switch back to my cover two man from this formation, as I still plan on using these two coverages the most in my two play scheme of this defense. On this play, I use the safety though, as he tries to beat me on a deep crosser. No! Then on 3rd and 13, we go back to the man zero blitz and we get to stop 4 yards short before he hurries me up and hits Kelsey, who really can't be covered in this game. Oh, you mother But at least we got him to a 4th down on the first series, which is an improvement. He goes back to Kelsey on the next play and the coverage was there for a loss. 
but he breaks through the smaller cornerback. On the next play, he tries to hit me with a bunch of crosses before going deep. The coverage is tight. What? But the offense is winning all the ties today. One of the biggest advantages of this defense compared to other man zero blitzes is that this might be the best run defense in the game, as the blitzing cornerback on the right does a great job of containing outside run lanes, along with the defender man to the running back on the other side. I expect runs, so I pinch the defensive line once again to close up those inside lanes, and you can see the difference as we shut down the first run against this defense for a three yard loss. We get a look at his running back stats, and before that loss on that carry, he was averaging almost 12 yards a run. On the next play, he tries to hit me with a screen pass that I didn't even see Woo! to force another third and long before he goes back to Kelsey and almost gets the first down. He then hurries me up to go for his second fourth down conversion of the drive, as Kelsey is just impossible to stop. <laughs> okay. He tries to run it again on the next play, only to go backwards once again, which is a huge difference in this game as eventually my opponent will stop trying to run the ball at all, as he hasn't gained a positive yard on the ground against his defense yet. He is not giving up yet though, as he tries to bulk up with a two tight end set, thinking he can just bully me or run around it. How about new? And we push him backwards again for another loss, as we have now forced him in his three straight third and longs on this drive, and his run game is all but gone. He hurries me up one more time, only this time the pressure gets home to force an early bad pass. Gotcha, bitch. And we got our first takeaway and first stop of the game as this defense clearly performed better in multiple ways back on offense though i gotta put something together and i get sacked for a big loss in the first play but i get it all back on the next play as quez watkins is having the game of his life but the pressure is getting in on every play Woo! before getting sacked on the next play and pushed back into third and a mile. So I go right back to the exact same play that I converted with the last time in the Saints fork and make another big play right over the middle of the field to keep the drive alive before going right back to the drive age wheel play that I scored on early in the game. Break yourself, fool! And it works again the same way as Quez Watkins has his third touchdown of the contest. Now, two scores with three minutes left, the smart move is to play a prevent style cover two man defense or maybe a soft zone, but since I'm using this for a video, I decide to stay in the cover zero, but this is not a smart way to play since the goal should be to let my opponent kill clock on himself. The next play though, probably should have been another interception. Oh, come on! Like is DeAndre Hopkins on the cheeks because he keeps snatching every ball right from my defender's hands. Wilson. On the next play, he runs the hurry up and snaps the ball before I can get everyone into place, and he is now in the red zone in just two plays. So now I do the smart thing and go to the cover two prevent, but it's too late. Damn it! On offense, we're going to try to kill clock now to secure this game, and we're going to have to do so passing since my opponent is still in this large 4-3 even defense. Luckily, Hertz is out there making insane plays <laughs> as he threads the needle from a ridiculous angle to get me to the two-minute warning with a first down. I run the ball just to get the clock running before going back to the pass and getting a big first down to get in the field goal range but I don't need any more points as he uses his last timeout and that's the ball game as I'm gonna take knees and he knows it what a pussy before he calls a timeout and rage quits the game See ya. so that's that's the vid I hope you guys saw the difference between the defenses I was using in the first half and the second half as the second half was a completely different story other than that if you guys want to see more videos like this as always please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button and let me know in the comment section I'll also have videos popping up like I said earlier in the video on screen about the offenses and defenses I was using so if you guys want to check that out I'm sure it'll help with your game other than that thanks for watching man my shit out for help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.